Eov, Job 39. Know you the time when the wild goats on the rock bring forth? Or can you mark when the hinds do calve? Can you number the months that they fulfill? Or know you the time when they bring forth? They bow themselves. They bring forth their young ones. They cast out their sorrows. Their young ones are in good liking. They grow up with grain. They go forth and return not unto them. Who has sent out the wild ass free? Or who has loosed the bands of the wild ass? Whose house I have made the wilderness and the barren land his dwellings? He scorns the multitude of the city. Neither regards he the crying of the driver. The range of the mountains is his pasture, and he searches after every green thing. Will the unicorn be willing to serve you, or abide by your crib? Can you bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow, or will he harrow the valleys after you? Will you trust him, because his strength is great, or will you leave your labor to him? Will you believe him that he will bring home your seed and gather it into your barn? Gave you the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaves her eggs in the earth and warms them in dust, and forgets that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them? She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear, because Eloah has deprived her of wisdom, neither has he imparted to her understanding. What time she lifts up herself on high, she scorns the horse and his rider. Have you given the horse strength? Have you clothed his neck with thunder? Can you make him afraid as a grasshopper? The glory of his nostrils is terrible. He paws in the valley and rejoices in his strength. He goes on to meet the armed men. He mocks at fear and is not frightened. Neither turns he back from the sword. The quiver rattles against him, the glittering spear and the shield. He swallows the ground with fierceness and rage. Neither believes he that it is the sound of the shofar. He says among the shofars, Ha ha! And he smells the battle afar off, the thunder of the captains and the shouting. Does the hawk fly by your wisdom and stretch her wings toward the south? Does the eagle mount up at your command and make her nest on high? She dwells and abides on the rock, upon the crag of the rock, and the strong place. From thence she seeks the prey, and her eyes behold afar off. Her young ones also suck up blood, and where the slain are, there is she.